Hi, this is Margot Poro with the BC Learning Network looking at undercompensation with subtraction. When should you compensate? If the bottom number's digit is larger than the top number and you want to subtract a friendly number. 62 is not a friendly number. I can't subtract 2 from 1 and I don't want to regroup. I should compensate. If I take away 2 less, I will have a friendly number. 60 is a friendly number because it ends in a zero. What will happen when I undercompensate? If I take away 60 instead of 62, my answer will be higher than it should be because I didn't take away enough. I will need to take away two more before I am done. I can do this in my head. I can take zero away easily. And I know that 15 take away six is nine. So far, I have a difference of 91. What's next when I'm undercompensating? You can see here that taking away 60 is much easier than taking away 62. There's no regrouping involved. 1 take away 0 is 1, and 15 take away 6 is 9. I'm not done yet. I need to counterbalance what I did. I took away 60 instead of 62, so I have to take away 2 more. I have a difference of 89. And that is how you use undercompensation with subtraction. Let's look at it one more time. We have 122 take away 74. I can't subtract 4 from 2 and I don't want to regroup. I should compensate. If I take away 4 less, I'll have a friendly number. 70 is a friendly number because it ends in a 0. 2 take away 0 is 2. And 12 take away 7 is 5. So we have 52 so far. What happens next? I'm not done yet. I need to counterbalance what I did. I took away 70 instead of 74, so I have to take away 4 more. I have a difference of 48. That is my final answer. Thank you for watching this video on subtraction with compensation.